Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and another squad update. Now there's recently been a new blog uploaded on the website from the devs explaining some of the exciting things that are going to be coming in the not too distant future. And believe you me, if you thought the other ones with the IEDs and the mines was exciting, this one is going to blow your mind. So here we are, here's part of the new update. Uh, many of you will know from my previous videos that there is a new animation system coming which is desperately needed from squad since the early days but with the devs a small team and everything else we're finally getting there and as you're about to see some really cool things actually coming within here there's actually a new animation system which includes if we can get this on hd at full screen have we got a 1080p version yes we have let's just start this again there's a new free look system which We've all been wanting this for so long. There is, it starts to feel a little bit clunky. You can't lower your weapon. You couldn't free look or turn. You ended up like almost like rotating like this with the weapons. Well, here we are, guys. It's here. And even though this actually says work in progress, I already think this is absolutely top notch. The animation system already looks completely way beyond armors it's smooth it's dynamic you can see the positions from one to the other is extremely smooth you know in armor it's like eh, 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 eh. it looks like the devs have actually fixed it and vaulting how long have we been wanting this this is incredible we've been wanting this for so long you end up getting to a wall and you end up bunny jumping like a kangaroo like this trying to get over well the vaulting system is in and look at that it looks absolutely fantastic Hats off to the devs. This is, I, I mean, obviously at the minute we've got no idea of when this is actually going to be released. I'm sure we'll get to try this in closed testing at some point. Although, again, it looks like this is already implemented perfectly. This really is going to change the game. The ability to just to free look, it sounds like such a small thing. But especially with the saw gunners being able to lay down and do this, fantastic. And that's actually going to lead us on nicely to the second part there is actually a work in progress a montage here and i'm going to pause this at a certain spot this is showing some of the new animation system for some of the weapons hold it hold it hold it now this could be two things here this could be a bandage obviously there are no there's no texture in here this could be a bandage or could it be para calm down could it be door breaching ability or breach through walls in compounds oh <laughs> it could be i've got a feeling though that this is actually a bandage that's actually going to go around and the reason i say that is because as we come a little bit further in here Now, did you notice that? We'll cover that in a in another part of this video. But again, there you can see the actual bandage wrapping it round. It looks like we were promised a new medical system at some point, whether it's going to be like Project Reality, because a lot of the team are from there. You actually have the EpiPen, and then you can bring them back and zap them and all that sort of stuff. It may be that, you know, these things are actually getting implemented into the game. So if you haven't played Project Reality... I highly recommend it because it is the daddy of squad. As you can see there, all beautiful animations in squad. Absolutely no complaints at all. And of course, we know once these textures are in and everything else, Anders is going to do his magic. Uncle, Uncle Anders, Santa Claus is going to come out with his audio presence and fill us with amazing. Battlefield 4, get lost. Not interested in that. Bugger off. So, as we move on, we've actually had a look at this new animation system. But as we go further in, as personally, I play as the support class more than any other faction. Piss off. And what we've all been wanting for so long, since well, day one, is bipods. Now, even though it looks like the bipods are down, there's no actual weapon resting. And a lot of the times when you reload it, you end up like, it looks like you're breaking your back on the animation system. And it's a little bit gash and it takes you out of the immersion. But lo and behold, people, the squad gods have listened. 
and they have delivered, for we shall know their name, and their name is Squad Deaths. Look at that. Bipod resting. Sweet pepper, Jesus. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm a saw gunner and a PK gunner, and I've always wanted to be able to, you know, get on top of a compound, get the bipods down. And you will actually get more of an accuracy buff when you use that, and the reload times is actually decreased. Because obviously you're not holding the weapon, blah, blah, blah. So that's fantastic. And we also know that free luck is coming, but we've already kind of covered. Now, there's also going to be a lot of people have been asking about melee weapons. Well, by the looks of it now, I can cave your head in with a shovel. The gods are really with us today. Yes, another amazing feature. Battering people with a shovel. Again, the communities wanted it. Um, whether we'll actually have the ability in future, such as Project Reality, to have bayonet charges. Probably it will come. Probably, probably, probably. Uh, there's also an ability in a lot of other games, such as Vietnam and Project Reality, to change the sights on your weapon. So you can set the range on the iron sights to say 100 meters, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it looks like the devs are actually going to start implementing that now into the new animation system. So while it's not perfectly clear on here, you can actually see that these sights are going to change and they may be adjustable. Again, another brilliant feature. That'll be actually fantastic for the 203 and the saw gunners, actually, as well. Uh, I hope there is a little bit of customization as well. I don't want this to get into Battlefield, but a little bit of customization on the attachments on the saw would be nice, like an extra foregrip, bipod, sight unit, etc. Peck box. You get the idea, which brings me into night vision and things like that. So we've also got... Holy Jesus! Can you feel the power? <laughs> what an amazing update. Of course, this is not quite here yet, but fucking helos. And I know what everybody's going to say after this. Where's the jets? Where's the tanks? Fuck me. The devs are doing an amazing job here. Black Hawk helicopters. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now we'll get the helicopters coming in and landing and dropping the troops off. Transport helicopter. Fantastic. There's no 50 cals on the side of there, which... It's a good good thing, I think, because like in Project Reality, you can't shoot shit unless it's perfectly still or hovering. And we've also got a new squad Glock animation for a pistol. Doesn't really float my boat, but as you can see here, British Armed Forces. Now, we have actually seen some of the models for these British Armed Forces. So we know the Brits are coming and the SA-80 gash weapon. But, you know, it is in keeping. So there we are, again, with everything in this game, texturing and the actual models are just absolutely perfect. Now, with helicopters, you're going to need the ability to be able to blat them down and kill all the infantry inside. Well, here we have the Zoo 23 anti-aircraft gun. And we already know, once Anders has done his magic, he squirted his sound muck all over these. This is going to be go, 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 go. This is going to be deafening, intense, amazing. And you can just imagine hearing this on the other side of the battlefield. Helicopters coming in. The utter carnage that awaits us. But alas, this is not all. This update is fucking massive. Again, I like the support class. And I do love the anti-vehicle rounds on the RPGs. It's got a definite goof. Different, completely different sound, and you will start to learn the difference in the audio. You can hear them in the distance. Look at this. This should be mounted in a picture frame above your mantelpiece because just look how beautiful this thing looks. And it even looks like it's got a little bipod at the front there, or a little monopod, should I say. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Can't wait to blow some vehicles up. And this has got a, this is a, like a heavy, almost like a hat kit, if you know, if you play PR. The heavy anti-tank. Alas, it doesn't end. We have more maps possibly coming, residential areas. Again, very nice. I mean, Squad's got its own style of graphics. You can tell immediately that this is a Squad map. This is Navara. Nava, should I say. Uh, a new city map with looks like a few of the assets from some of the other maps, like um, Forest, or it used to be called Forest. Uh, nice down here. This has definitely got a European feel about it. Very, very nice indeed. A little bit of a PR feel to this, especially with the Ruskies. 
Very nice. But alas, it doesn't end there even more. Al-Basra has been updated and expanded, and both the bases, the US, and the insurgent forces, theirs has been moved. Flags been, uh, The flags have been repositioned, and the whole map is getting bigger. Brilliant, brilliant map is this. And it looks like it's been extended because insurgency mode will be coming. And for those of you who are not too sure what insurgency is, there are hidden weapon caches hidden throughout the map. And eventually, as the fighting goes on, it, they will the, the US forces will get a rough idea of where that is. And the only way to destroy it is either an RPG, or it used to be in Project Reality, or the squad leader gets an incendiary grenade. A lot of you won't have even seen these in-game because not a lot of people play it. It burns and it explodes, and it's fantastic. Any infantry in the room when it goes off, dead. So it looks like this is getting updated again, and, and that's it for now. There is actually no release date on when any of these updates are coming out, but it's good to know that the animation system, I think, is almost ready for public testing, or at least close testing. And of course, when that does happen, Uncle Para will be covering it like a bitch. Hope you've enjoyed this update. Exciting things coming to the squad universe. As always, I shall see you on the battlefield. What more can I say? What can I say? See you later.